god. It's like a bunker on crystal meth. What? Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark, the Kid Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. This episode, we're gonna try to help you guys catch these guys, all right? Oh, it's gonna happen, and it's very simple to do as well, all right? Tony Washer products, that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna go from the A's, the B's, and the C's on this stuff, all right? So let's get out there, we'll jump on the pre-check, and we'll explain what's happening. All right, buddy, so right now what we're doing is Texas run the deck here. He's gonna clear. What we're trying to do here is we're running one four spoon number four spoon days like this where it's really bright out you want a lighter spoon overcast days darker spoon all right that's just the way it is so we had an umbrella rig on the uh, port side there because we're looking to get smaller fish all right usually out here we catch monster fish and we that's fun it's like kissing your sister you gotta get the fish back he kisses his sister doesn't that makes no sense but we're gonna do that we're gonna go mojo what? we're gonna switch over to a mojo right now i have a little powder on so i can kind of I can kind of talk and keep going with this. But uh, we're gonna switch over to a tandem mojo, Michael? Yeah. Tandem mojo. Michael's into redheads. I don't know if you know that. Always have. Why, why, why the redhead? Tina Louise, she was a big <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Mama Louise, yeah. He did, was infatuated with Tina Louise. Tina Louise, the redheaded bougie. Red. All right, we're still looking, we're cooking with gas here. I got, that's bad lighting right there. But who we got with us right now? Fries, oh, Shawnee boys, Shawnee fries. What's your, what's your, uh, your new uh, huh? Instagram? Ah, that's secret right now. I gotta oh, get some more Sean content. Gary Sean Gary <laughs> Fisher. Sean Gary Fisher right there. Gotta get some more content. Got the Wahoo belt on. Or Wahoo gimbal. Little gimbal. Trust me, you need a gimbal. I know it sounds like you're really using gimbal on bass. Bro, try catching the bass on wire. You want a gimbal, all right? <laughs> All right, short strikes. Enough of the short jokes, Jack. Yes, is all right? Guess it is my mooch. I want to touch this really quick, why are they important? Although they're kicking the nuts with a steel to boot, they're very important, all right? They're a telltale sign of where fish are holding and staging and where fish are feeding, all right? So we breeze through this really quickly. Short strikes, take note of them, mark where they are, come back and hit them again, all right? That's what a short strike looks like. All right, let's go through one more time, a little slow-mo. All right, now we're going to slow it down even more for you guys who voted for Biden, all right? Slow it down. Okay. All right, so now we got that. They're important, so don't make me come over there and start throwing left at you. I right? guess at least my most. This thing's not even legal in New York State. I still carry it. I'm going to be sick. Whoa, easy, all right? It's not attractive. Shut up. All right. Let's now transition to what the cap does right now. What's the cap doing? I'm driving that preacher. Five below. I almost even got the lean going on, all right? Guess a dash. I'm telling my crew what's happening, all right? So, Fries, you're on the rod, right? Yep. And then we'll, uh, we're going to uh, clear that rod here. I'm going to be that. Let's clear the rod. That's it. It's as easy as that. Now, let's go over to what? Those right there. Those are the tools of the trade. All right, please. Tools of the trade. Let's go through that right now, all right? Number one. Probably the most important part of this equation is the Tony Masha spoon rod, made by Tony Senior about 500 years ago, when he was a young lad in Italy, Sicily. Shut the All right, that was, I'm not going there. Darn, I wanted him to snap. I forget the name of the blank is. But Senior manipulated it, cut the top off, cut a little at the bottom, and he made the spoon rod that has this action right here. All right. That pump action is very difficult to be duplicated, all right? There's gonna be a bunch of people out there that make knockoffs, all right? But knockoffs, what are they? Yeah, fake news, CNN. You buy a knockoff Rolex. What happens when people find out you got a knockoff Rolex? They call you a toolbox. If you buy a knockoff, they probably give you a free case of Bud Light. That's right, you get a knockoff. You're gonna go to a, a tackle shop and say, yeah, 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 I don't have Tony Masha, but I got something just like it. Yeah, 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 you make a knockoff Tony Masha, you know, and I'm a great lover. Yeah, right. Really, Mrs. Kick? I suspected that. Ladies, relax, you're giving me a complex right now. It's just a figure of speech. Delete that. But you don't buy knockoffs. Yeah, buy a knockoff, but they give you a free helmet too? Shut up. So that's number one, the rod. Seven foot, it's almost an eight foot, but it's seven foot, like nine inches. Uh, basically like me, I'm four foot two. Guess it, dash. But that rod is cherry vanilla. It's got the iconic Maja wrap. Uh -huh. 
people know you're doing this stuff. Like, you go with your bling, right? Perfect example. Miss Kid and I rolling down. We are in Fort Lauderdale one day. It was in Miami. I think it was Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to keep talking so we can get fish on. We're in Fort Lauderdale. And these guys are pimping. He's got 50s hanging in the rocket launchers. And what's he got? Pleated shorts on. Another one. Fake new scene. And that guy hasn't caught a fish in his life. He's fronting. So number one is that rod. All right? We're going to get to two in a second. Number two. What is it? Yawn. It's the real setup right now, all right? There's two different kinds that we use out here. Tex goes for the big money reel. Boom, boom, boom. I go for the cheap reel, going up to see my reel. I think I showed this to you already, but I'm gonna show you my reel anyway. This is the setups I have. Total Chantaloon. Total Chantaloon. Chantaloon. Chantaloon, but we get over it, all right? Those rods have caught a gazillion. These rods, these old crappy reels have caught a million fish. Oh, a million. That's pretty ass not to even say that, right? A million fish. But I caught like two bass what? once. Shush. That's what I use, all right? Obviously, we're using Texas because he's got a lot nicer reels than I got. So we're back with 50 pound monofilament and we have 300 feet. All right, Maja will sell your spools in 300 feet. So you can either get wire, stainless wire, or you can get Monel. Monel is the better stuff. It's, it, it has less breaking. It's much more forgiving, let's put it that way. I have Monel on my reels. 50 pound test, barrel swivel, 300 feet of Monel to another barrel swivel to 20 feet of monofilament. All right, at the end of that monofilament, it's gonna be a big snap swivel, all right? That snap swivel will go straight to your spoon, and that's what you're doing. So what we're doing here, we're fishing 50, 50 feet of water. Sometimes right now, Texas is running 36 feet of water. But we're not too afraid of that because we know our gear is at 30 feet, all right? Why do we know that? Because we have 300 feet of wire out, which drops at the 30 feet, all right? So that's, we're pretty safe. Maybe 32 feet with the spoon on it, but we know we're pretty safe. So if we say anything above that, we know we're gonna be good to go. So the key elements of this stuff is also, watch this, I'm gonna show you the drag setup. See, I'm gonna grab this and pull drag. Oh. That's what else you scared the crap out of me. You want to be able to pull drag on those things, all right? You don't want that, this, this zero shock. The rods are spaghetti sticks and they give a lot when that fish bites. They'll give and they won't pull that hook out of its mouth. So the rod absorbs the strike. There's, you have the monofilm backing. There's a little bit of that out there, but you also have the 20 feet shock leader. More importantly, that drag has to compensate. You don't want this tight drag, you're gonna snap it. You're just gonna snap the fish right off, all right? What happens when we snap off? Go Marsh and say, yo, Marsh, send me more spoons. It gets out. The key elements there, the two is the reel, the setup and stuff like that. Next thing you know is our spoons. Spoons are in the water. So I'll show you those in a little bit. And uh, that's basically it. The most important thing about this though is that. Is the pump of that rod. That pump's gotta go like that. As that pump is pumping, the rod tip's doing this, and the cadence like that. What's that doing? It's that sweep of that spoon. When that spoon comes up on the sweep and it breaks, it spins to the other side. That's when that rod goes back, and it catches again, it goes back again, it catches again, it goes back again, it catches again, it goes back again. That's what that pump is, all right? So that's that spoon swimming. If it's not spinning a steady drag on that thing, like that thing is just getting pulled like you're pulling an anchor, you got problems, pull the bad boy in, you may have hooked up some uh, seagrass. You might have snagged one of Nancy Pelosi's old bras. So when you see that rod tip is really getting pulled straight like that, you know you got issues, all right? All right, folks, the pump right now, but first, I am rocking that hat right there. Why? This kid loves the military, right? And you also love the military. Right there is exactly what I'm talking about. All right? Without those cats doing this stuff, we're in a world of crap, all right? We'll get our military back, though. Don't you sweat it. All right? So I want you to take a peek over my shoulder here. As I'm trolling right now, you're going to see a short strike on that starboard side. And then we're just going to keep that trolling going. And then we're going to get picked up by that fish. Keep an eye on that pump, though. That pump is crucial to success, all right? All right, so let's go. Show and Gary fishing. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Come on, be a shot. What's that? Not all that aggressive. Take your time, for us. For us. Just reel and just keep the rods. Right, right. No, but I think the fish is uh, no matter what. It's, it's, 
Yeah. Unless he's got it. He must have a foul hook to something. He's bringing in the breaking ball. Something's wrong. Yeah, I think, he, I think you snagged this thing. Yeah, it's weird. It just never... This thing is... Whatever it is, I don't care. Yeah, this was just a regular, perfectly hooked fish. It just that really swam weird. Perfect fish, bro. Show Darren Fisher. Not too bad, Shen. Nice. All right, place so there you go, Shawnee Fries. What a nice bass, and that right there is an eater. I really should disclose the fact that I'm a licensed captain and I'm certified in running Masha products, all right? There are about three or four legitimate pro staffers of Maja products on the Eastern Seaboard. I happen to be one of them. Captain Sean right here is number two. And we also have Captain Kevin on the bad fish. We're going to be fishing with him next week. But the one thing with Captain Sean over in Huntington, every time I see the guy fishing right there, his boat is loaded with girls in bikinis. Let's take a peek over and see what Captain Sean's doing. Well, as usual, Captain Sean has no bottoms on. And it's cold. It must be freezing. Well, Captain Sean, right there, Port of Call Charters. Sell it on. That's his little website right there. He's got nice Parker, 25, work to the nuts, twin screws. Oh, I didn't even know he had his nipples pierced. Isn't that strange? Captain Sean's nipples are pierced? Oh, they've been pierced for years. <laughs> oh, my God. Michael's the only got them pierced. I gotta deal with Tex and Sean, and Captain Sean over there is like Hugh Hefner. All right, so I'm gonna go through some really quick a synopsis of that trolling. I know there's a lot of shenanigans in it, all right? The setup, we have the Masha rod, we have the reel, all right? The reel's gonna be back with 50 pound monofilament. Then we're gonna pop on 300 feet of wire to a barrel to a 20 foot liter of either fluoro or mono. Big snap swivel, and that goes to your spoon. That's that, all right? So that 30 foot wire, oh my God, Mrs. Kids over there. Boy, she freaking interrupts the crap out of me. Now we have that 300 feet of white is dropping that. We have 300 feet of white right there? Yeah, we have 300 Sweet feet of white. Sweet mother of all things. What happened to your hair? I just woke up. So it's like my dead cat on my microphone. All right. Look at this thing on the top of her head. That could even be legal in New York State. All right? Come on, beat it. I mean, really? Who has that thing on their head? Guess that they spawn the moosh. Let me get back to that. You guys distract me right now, all right? Thank goodness I am a licensed captain and I can stay focused. Shut the up. All right, so now we're back to it, right? We got that wire is dropping that spoon 30 feet of water. Now what are you gonna do? How are you gonna stay out of trouble? You're gonna look at your charts, all right? Preferably a Simrad. If you don't have a Simrad, that's fine, all right? I had problems too when I was a young kid. Shut up. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep an eye on those charts. You wanna look at those contour lines. You wanna keep that boat in Excess of what 35 feet of water is your lowest you want to go because again you don't want to drag too low pan out on your machine You're gonna say okay. I'm looking dead ahead of me. I got a quarter mile. And I'm 50 feet of water I'm cherry vanilla. All right, so you stay in those contour lines that don't go under 30 feet of water If you go into 30 feet of water, you're gonna have props All right, so you're, th you're dragging gear at 30 feet of water 32 be safe All right, so make sure that boat is then at least 35 feet of water to stay safe and then you can go up to 100 feet. I've trolled over 100 feet because those fish are now coming up into the column eating bunkers. So don't be like, don't be alarmed saying, I'm putting out 30 feet of line and it's up here and we're in 100 feet of water. It's not a problem because you'll see you'll mark those fish up in that column. That's when they're going to say hello to you, all right? I hope this makes sense. See, I hope you guys had a chuckle or two out of this, all right? May the grace of God shine upon you and your family. Always being his favorite players, all right? God bless America. It's all like Donkey Kong. To our veterans. Kid loves you, you know that. Mrs. Kid loves you too. Take care, everybody. Brush your hair.